Suck my you. dick. Suck my <laughs> dick. <laughs> you ain't got a fucking dick to suck. <laughs> you ain't have a fucking dick to suck. <laughs> got a gash. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holiday set. Thank you, Mom. Surprised us today. Cleaned the whole basement. Got the holiday tablecloth, the holiday fucking items. We got the snow globe over here. Forget about it. Welcome back to Sunday Sushi, Grandmother's Favorite Podcast. I'm not even sure what episode this is. 107, maybe? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know what matters? Me and you sitting Seth. here having a conversation. Love the new drip. You like that? It's clean. I got on some new drip as well. Oh, look at this. You like that nice and thick material. See Where'd that you neck? get that? This is Zara, baby. That's nice. You can't go wrong. I got this in like four different colors. Wow. And you know, this is actually a small, but these are one of those shirts that are like really big. So you it's know? a schmedium? I guess it's a schmedium. You, you look know? good. Thank you, sir. Feel good. How you feeling today, Phil? I'm feeling good. You know, I just got to say, I got to flex a little bit. No other podcast has their own mudder come down here and make the entire set. Nobody. I mean, look at this. We got the lights. We got the stockings. Got the fucking good fellas. I don't even think framed photo that we always at have. At this point, we're not moving to the new set. Fuck the new set, yo. We're staying here Sell forever. that house. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna flip that shit. I'm There's no it. point. I'm gonna flip it like a trapeze artist at the circus, baby. That's a, that's a you good like move. that? Yeah. You like that fucking like metaphor that. right there? Just blue balled our entire audience for nine months, but you know. Listen, you know what? In life, sometimes you gotta get hit with surprises. We thought we were going over there. It turns out we're not. Listen, you don't even know what we're going to do. Uh, but you know what we are going to do right now? Put on a great fucking show for you guys. Phil, your desktop looks absolutely ridiculous. This guy's got icons everywhere. I'm in that full content production mode. Yeah, you got three days left in November, and you got to put out five videos. This they should call be me interesting. the bread factory. You know why? Because you're making all this bread. I'm securing the semolina. Mm, you just got white bread. You got fucking Italian bread. Rye. Rye. Kaiser wheat. rolls. Ooh, bagels. Buckwheat. A lot of bagels. Everything bagels. This man's swimming in Pumper dough. nickel. He literally quite, he quite literally is drowning in the dough, but it's so, perfect because the holiday season's coming up. We got Christmas presents to get, which by the way, I think I'm going to go to one, one mall hall and just get shit for everybody. I was one at the day. mall yesterday. You don't want to go there. Well, yesterday it's you went? It's a war zone. Well, yeah, this weekend, Black Friday weekend. What are you out of your fucking mind? Wait, yesterday was Black Friday. Yeah. You're at the mall on Black Friday? What did I tell you? You're a psychopath. Did you get trampled? Did you get mauled? No, I did the trample. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Big Phil. Rhinoceros Phil. Rhinoceros Phil. Coming in with the nose. You better grab your items because Phil's coming to steal them. <laughs> yeah, watch the member exclusive content. <laughs> this is my content. favorite episode. <laughs> the last member episode that we did was so good. By the way, I didn't even tell you what happened. I don't even think you're aware. I know what happened. You know what happened? Uh, I, I know everything. Before too. we get into it. Become a member, become a meatball, $4.99 a month, and you get access to over like 30 episodes of exclusive content. New episodes drop every Wednesday over there. Shake the snow globe for him one time. It's one my boy, Philly on. Yeah, I go to post the member exclusive content. It says blocked worldwide. Nice. I go, what the fuck Sick. is this? So I try to finagle, you know, move around the new studio app. I'm like, what the fuck got copyrighted? Every WWE clip. Are you serious? They, they struck, dude. They attacked us. Blocked worldwide. Not only could we not monetize, but we couldn't even fucking post the video. I says to myself, listen, at least let's post it. Couldn't post it. Blocked worldwide. Listen, WWE, if anything, we're me? giving you promo. All right? Don't you hate that? I just don't understand in today's day and age why media corporations are still blocking things worldwide. If you want to make money off the episode, that's a smarter business move. Do that. that All we were doing was playing fun clips from the WWE, reacting to them, giving our two cents, a little commentary. Old clips, too. Old clips. I'm talking archaic shit. You can't own that. I mean, you can. But it's fair use. Fair use. It's reactionary content. It's should, transformative. Should we have-, should we have uh, It doesn't substitute for an original. Do you know how many fucking fair use claims I dispute on a daily basis, Vin? Attorney I'll Phil. I'll go fucking tit for tat on these kids. Tit for tat, huh? Yeah. Shit. I'll smoke them. This dude loves his tits. I mean, fair use is very important. So yeah, I got blocked and I hit up Brooks. I was like, good morning, Brooks. We got to remove these WWE clips. Like, I'll get right on it. And he sent it back. Nice little text in the beginning. WWE attacked. Shake that motherfucker snow globe one time. This will be snowing the whole episode. I Dude, hope you that know was that. an aggressive shake. By the way, snow globes, whoever invented them, whoever owns the patent for these, you're incredible. It's fair use. Just to shake a snow globe. That's nice. Ooh, baby. But yeah, I am, uh, I'm going to the mall. I'm going to do one big fucking shopping spree. 
get shit for everybody. Blow your load? Yeah. You're, metaphorically. You're going to jerk off? I'm not going to blow any actual loads at the mall because I'm not trying to get arrested, mm. but my metaphorical money load will indeed be blown on an assortment of items. That's good. How was your Thanksgiving? It was good. I had two do? dinners. You know, I had to make the family round. What is this, amateur hour? I had fucking four servings yeah, in this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. I actually gained two pounds from Thanksgiving. That's a fact. Granted, it's I all water weight most likely. I think I four pound like. shit. Four pound shit? Yeah, I weighed it on Damn. my food scale. So you didn't even go in a toilet. You just crotched over yep. a fucking food scale. Just dropped a fucking turd on there? That's it. Nice. Grams or actual pounds? Pounds. Oh, four pounds, not four no, grams. No, kilos. Kilos. <laughs> yeah. Shit, son. But yeah, it was one of those Thanksgivings where we ate at like fucking 4 p.m., and then by like 4.53, I was like, yo, we got any leftovers? They're like, of course, start taking shit out of the fridge. Mm. Then when I started eating, Joey, my brother, my cousin Joey, my brother Joey, a lot of Joey's in the family. My uh, father Joey, Joey. All the Joey's. My fucking cousin Genevieve's husband Joey. Mm. It's fucking five jo I just realized there was six Joey's at this Thanksgiving. That's too many. Joey, 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 and Joey. Hey, Joey, pass the- Which one? <laughs> they all respond in unison. Me? You know? Meep, meep. But uh, I had a lot of mac and cheese. I'm talking enough mac and cheese to kill a small horse. It was a fucking, it was an issue. I didn't have mac and cheese. I'm not a fan. I love mac and cheese. Bro, Something about that gooiness. The is... crispy. No, it was crispy. I had the mm. cr crispy noodles with the macaroni and cheese. Bro, fresh out the oven in this motherfucker for serving one. And then for servings two, three, and four. Because it didn't stop there. After the second time, we relaxed for like another half an hour. Oh, what's this? Dessert time. I knocked out. I fell asleep. No one in my family sleeps on Thanksgiving. No, I I was like a 48-year-old obese man, and I fell asleep that's on good, the couch. That's a good vibe. It's How'd you of... feel when you woke up, though? You probably felt like an absolute freight train ran you over. That's <laughs> yeah. the worst. Thanksgiving naps are not safe. Because mm. you, honestly, you go to bed, you don't even know if you're going to wake up, to be honest. The next morning, I needed like, I think I slept for like 16 hours. I had a long sleep the next day. Yeah. Yesterday, bro, I was, I was sleeping. There was no blood in my brain. It was still all in my stomach and cock. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. Speaking of your cock, yeah. you should shave your cock with oh. the help of today's video sponsor. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by manscaped.com. Boys and girls, Christmas came early this year because I just got gifted and we got gifted the new performance package by Manscaped. Your jingle balls will thank you. Manscaped created the world's first all-in-ones grooming kit that has you covered from head to toe, literally. The Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer is built with advanced skin-safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts on your most sensitive areas. It has this awesome LED light, which is really helpful for grooming on those cold, dark winter nights. And here's a stock and stuffer for you guys. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Revival ball toner spray these things are a game changer new to the collection is the weed whacker which is a nose and ear hair trimmer i had no idea i needed this so bad but i'm glad that santa hooked it up for us the weed whacker has 360 degree rotary blades and the same skin safe technology from the trimmer so it help prevents tugging and tears in your nose and ears oh it's clean baby manscaped is no longer just for below the waist grooming fellas in addition to products for your face they now have you covered from head to toe with their new and improved shears 2.0 luxury six-piece stainless steel nail kit. Every guy out there needs to add Manscaped to their wish list this season. If you got a special man in your life that's been extra good this year, make sure to get him the performance package by Manscaped. And for a limited time, you guys will also receive two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxers. That's a gift on top of a gift, Phil, which pretty much will make you the best gift giver of all time. Don't wait. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code SAUCE to get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this podcast. We appreciate you. Merry Christmas. You know, Phil, let me tell you, let me tell you something about my ad transitions, Phil. I'm just, I'm too, I'm too OP at it, dude. Way too fucking dummy busted, broken too. Jimmy Braxton. <laughs> Way too dummy broken Braxton Jimmy the fourth, the fifth. Oh, I'm not going to say it again. No. We'll shake that fucking snow globe one more time. <clears throat> but yeah, Thanksgiving was uh, was lit. There were these two crows. I was explaining this on my live stream the other night. Two crows that my uh, my aunt had on top of a fridge. I says, those are nice crows. Could I, uh, could I take the fucking crows? And she, and she, goes, she goes, if you take those, you're not getting a Christmas gift. I go, I want these for Christmas, but I'm going to take them now. She goes, all right, no problem. So you took those? Took the two crows around my house. I'll show you later. The audacity of this man to be like, hey, can I have that? They're adorable. They're, there's a mommy crow and a daddy crow. And then we're driving home. Why are you home. stealing from the elderly? I asked, can I have these? All right. All right. And then my father says, you know, you got the, the dad crow. You got the mom crow. They're a couple, right? 
do they have a child? And I go, what are you getting at right now? I'm confused. He goes, because I took this from the bathroom and he whips out the baby crow. Stop. And I go, give me, give me a break, Dad. What are you kidding me? So now in my fucking dining room, I have mommy crow, daddy crow. And then in my bathroom, I got baby crow. That's nice. She doesn't know we took baby crow. And Debbie, if you're watching this, Your dad's we're fucking felons. devious, dude. We do be steal. Well, that's a family tradition. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the show, but whenever we go to my Aunt Deb's- You steal shit? My Aunt Deb's house quite literally looks like a home goods. It's okay. not even a joke. Like there's knickknacks- Everywhere. Everywhere. You literally walk to the right, you're knocking over an eight foot snowman. You know, you, you don't even know what you're going to see. F-A-O Schwartz in there? F-A-O Schwartz in this bitch. F-A-O Schwartz in this bitch. So yeah, my fucking daddy saw this crow and he went, you know what? I'm taking that shit. He put it in his pocket. Good. But yeah, I'm wearing one of my new shirts. I was telling people, I think on the member episode, my drip from now on on this show, is it's going to be ridiculous. Black TV. It's going to be. Absolutely serving looks but with a it, but basic t-shirt. Here's, here's the thing. No, it's not a basic black tee. This shit is. Uh, it is It's thick. about a quarter of an inch thick mm. for a shirt, bro. It's a it's ridiculous. You know, there's certain brands that are not designer brands, but they're like the silent rich brands where rich people wear them, where they're regular clothes, but they're actually so fucking much money. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the silent rich. Is there like a whole conglomerate of businesses that fall underneath that umbrella? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know any examples? No, it's silent. No, oh, it's so silent that yeah. you don't even know. I'm too fucking broke. Uh, Phil, please spare me. Dude, I'm, right. I'm, I'm Henry. Okay. Do you know about Henry? Henry? Yeah. Who the fuck is Henry? Are you, are you trying to say Henry? No, Henry. Henry. Okay, who's this? It's an acronym. High income, not rich yet. High income, not rich yet. That's that's fucking bad. I'm Henry, dude. Well, you know, you got to do a lot of renovations at the crib. It's just... Phil, I'm sleeping at my house daily now. I've I been mean. studying wealth, you know? I've been yeah. going deep. Read, you, you reading books. You don't want to be, you don't to be rich. You don't want to be rich, Phil. You want to be wealthy. Oh, there you go. Well, here's the thing. Wealth... It's a fucking lie, Vin. Wealth is a lie? Yeah, it's a the lie. The devil is a lie. Why is it a lie? It's just like big amounts of wealth are generational, and they've been there. So when we see these people in positions of like power- Like the Rockefellers. Yeah, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the fucking robber barons, the modern day Jeffrey Bezos, the fucking Robert Elon Barons? Musk. The blacksmiths. The blacksmiths. The artisans. <laughs> the fucking Freemasons The guy that here. just stands there all day and hits a sword to Joe make it- Joe Rogan. <laughs> Yo, I had a fucking dream. Listen to this shit. It was vivid. Last night, I had a dream about Joe Rogan. I have, I have a dream about him every night. Well, you guys are besties. His bald I, head. I, I'm not surprised. And his hard nipples. We had a, a a recording time of like 2 p.m., let's say, right? And you show up to my house. You're like, where Me the fuck you? are you? Yeah. I'm for, in this? For the podcast, right? And you're like, I'm outside. What are you doing? I'm like, dude, I'm at fucking Joe Rogan's. I'm filming the Joe Rogan Stop. experience. And you go, what the fuck? Like, you told me I drove all this way <laughs> to do that. I'm like, Phil, I'm on Joe Rogan. Like, yeah. you can fucking go back home. Like, this is a big wow, deal. Wow, you picked right? Joseph over me. Then the Joey D called me. goes, what the fuck are you doing? We're ready to film the show. I go, you're you at my house too? too. He was here too. It was you and Joey D. I go, film the fucking show together. I'm with Joe Rogan. We mutinied you. And I ended up doing an eight hour Joe Rogan experience. What'd you talk about? Uh, we talked about, I don't remember like specific topics, but we had a long talk. And then I remember we did another episode. It's all coming back now. It was me, you and Joey D on Joe Rogan Stop. after. And then at one point I do remember one thing I said, I go, yeah, I don't know when this drops Joe, but I actually, me and Joe filmed our own episode that is probably up already. And Joe looked fucking pissed. And I was like, why should I have not have said that? Should I have not like broken the fourth wall? He's like, no, Jamie, we could cut that out. Right. And I was like, oh, great. Now you I ruined it. So then for the next like hour of the show, I just thought that Joe hated me and he wanted to windmill kick me. Yeah. So that was my dream. Did you smoke weed with him? No. Do any DMT? Yes. We actually sucked a toad's foot Sick. and it was, it was quite the trip. And then I tripped over an elk hoof and tumbled down the stairs. <laughs> oh. True story, by the way. Yeah. You want to go to Texas? No. Let's take a trip. I would rather not. You don't want to go ride a pool at a fucking Texas, Texas Roadhouse bar? No shot. No fucking chance. I don't think I'm welcome in Texas. I think you'll be welcome in Texas. No, they're going to be like- You got to get one of those boots with a little spike on the, the end of it. What the fuck is this thing? They're not going to know what to do with me. Oh my God, it's fucking Bigfoot. <laughs> Shoot him, boys. Is that even yeah. what they sound like yeah, in Texas? It is. All right, there you go. I did I've never research. been. Why my, do you want to go? My boy Dobbs lives in Texas. I got to visit him. Do you? When we go down there, we're gonna stop. They got at, Zoom. We're gonna stop at Bucky's. They got voice chat. Bucky's apparently is a is a big ass gas station. It's like a Walmart, but it's a gas station or some shit. I don't a, fuck with Texas. There's a little uh, 
the hell's his name? He's like a little chipmunk or some shit like that. Bucky's. I'm going to type in Bucky's, Texas. Ready? Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, it's called, uh, yeah, Bucky's. It's, it's Beaver has the fun stores. Where the beaver never sleeps. Look at this. You can get a credit card, fuel types, find a car wash. Bro, they got everything here. I'm trying to go, to be honest with you. Look at this. I might just, I might apply for a job at Bucky's. You're going to work in Texas? Yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm ready to just like explore. You want to go traveling? Spread my wings and fly. I don't think Texas is where that starts, buddy. I think I have to go to like Aruba or Jamaica. And baby, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Just come on, pretty mama. In your go? In your go? What's the next lyric? Montego, what? baby. You never heard this song before? I think I know of it. Phil, please. You've heard this song before. The Muppets used to sing it. Kermit used to be like, Aruba, Jamaica. My Kermit's fucking terrible. It's by the Beach Boys. Yeah, but the Muppets sang it. If you type in that song with Kermit, you'll, f you'll find the version I'm talking about. What was the name of the place I was trying to say? What After Aruba, Jamaica. Let me see the lyrics. Zoom in. Kokomo. Zoom in, Phil. What do you mean, zoom in? Zoom in on your trackpad. Just go like this with your fingers, like you're zooming in on a photo. No way. I swear to God. That doesn't work. Yes, it does work. I, no, I two can't. fingers. Two fingers. A pinch. Two fingers? Uh, apparently, you're... There Whoa. you go. I was going to say your laptop I didn't doesn't... know that. All right, Aruba, Jamaica, where I want to take you, Bermuda, Bahama, Key Largo. I'm making up fucking shit. Montego, baby, why don't we go Jamaica? Off the Florida Keys. Oh, shit, we talked about that in the member episode, you right? You ever been to the Florida Keys? Uh, I've only been to the Florida Lock. The Florida what? The Florida locks. <laughs> Fuck you talking. Do you get what I said? No. Florida keys. I have only been to the Florida locks. <laughs> grab it, grab it, Phil. Oh One time. God. Oh, Sheesh. shit, dude. Guess what? What's up, bro? I don't know if I'm posting my video by the time this is up, but I might be. Let's hear it. The episode two dr just dropped in my new series. What series? Well, there's a series called the Reality House. Have you heard about Reality House? No. Do you want me to play the trailer for you? Of course. All right. Are we going to be able to play this or are we going to get blocked? Yeah, no, no, no. We'll, we'll be able to play it. All right. Let's fucking see what we got here. It's called Reality House. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got, Phil. So this is the season three official trailer, okay? All right. I don't think you're ready for this. Let's see what we got. Go full cam for me, Phil. This is a YouTube production, by the way. Welcome, everybody. The creators. The rules have changed dramatically. Wait, is this the show with the guy that sounds like David Dobrik? Or something completely different? No. Okay. You talking about Alex Warren? Ready? Yes. I hope so. Oh my god. So these are all Reality YouTubers? House, season three. Three. We're gonna go over some rules. But this season is very different. Oh, I know that guy. Oh, Bryce Hall was there. Yep. Let's go, boys! How you want it? Let's go! Oh my That's god. Tana. Oh my okay. god. What is going on, bro? Are you okay? I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty hype. I know, right? <laughs> I kinda wanna watch this. <laughs> oh shit. Who's he? Who's he? Data tube? Dude, how fucking nuts. Wait, 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 so when this drops, does it drop as YouTube videos? Yeah, dude, it's a YouTube series. How long are the episodes? Are they like full length? They're like 30 minutes. Yo, I'm trying to watch. So this one shit. of my videos is I I reacted to the first episode where you meet the cast. Okay. Let me tell you, it's a fucking bonkers. banger. It's, it's when, bonkers. When does this video drop? You know I'm waiting on approval. Oh, these damn it's a holiday it's, season. It's the holiday season. These what companies, are you doing? These companies are running, running fast, baby. <laughs> yeah. So when did that trailer drop? I've never even heard of this. November twelfth. Oh wow! So there they're... have been some major increases in budget, in production value, in characters. Mm. So one of the main guys you saw in there, his name's Peter. He was on Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. Oh, wow. So they're securing some figures. Listen, you they got you, Dana all, Tube, bro. All you have to do is show me Dana Tube, what's, and you got my subscription. What's Fousey Tube up to these days? I don't think he's posted in a while, has he? Dude, his last post was 10 months ago. No, no, that this is a different channel. This is the one where he posts the music. You have to go to that one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, okay, let's see. Last post. This is probably a while, too, Two though. months yeah, ago. Yeah, dude. He's been MIA, but I know he's been posting like you know where weight he's loss. Been? He's been on the show. He's been on the show. There it is. But yeah, he lost a lot of weight. He looks good. Fousey's like me. We're always fat and then we're skinny again. Then we're fat and then we're skinny again. I've done a great job of keeping it off this year, though. Good. I was only fat in like May or March. March, I was a big boy. Mm. I, I ballooned back up to like 187. But now we're a crisp 160. 
I don't know what, what I do am. You weigh these days. You gotta be like, dude. Two, I don't what change. Are you like two forty? Two forty? Two seventy five? This fucking two twelve? <laughs> you bitch. Small. Two twelve? Fucking small. You gotta get that weight up. Yeah, I gotta get that it's weight. It's time up. to get that weight up. It's Phil. time. Two twelve? Yeah. My cock weighs more than two twelve. What are you talking about over here, Phil? <laughs> two twelve? Maybe two fifteen. All right. That that I won't. I won't. I won't call you a nematode for that. That's strong. If I'm two twenty, we got some problems. Around 2.30, you start walking around like a black hole, just sucking shit in. Just Should I odd. just get large? I'm telling you, man, it's time. 2022. Just bulk fill. Brand new fill. Just fucking Full massive. On bulk. Just see if you can get bigger than Jogi. Joger? If you can get bigger than my brother, I'll give you 10 bucks. Okay. Because the kid right now looks like an absolute fucking behemoth. He goes, can you film a video for me? Dude's repping one tens on incline. You know what you should do? I go, what, what the what the fuck am I filming? Get, right get a sticky note and put it on his back and see if he can touch it. Definitely can't. He can't. He can't wipe his ass. I gotta wipe his. I've been wiping his ass. <laughs> we're we're we have a strong brotherly bond. Nice. He goes, Van. I go, what? You uh, wipe my ass? <laughs> so yeah, no problem, buddy. He's trying to be discreet about it so mom and dad don't get a little sus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They might be like, what, what are our, what are our sons doing? They're wiping each other's. You know, asses. you get them for Christmas some huggies. Mm, just, just a big ass diaper. Stinky. You know, deadlifting in diapers is the rage. Oh yeah, you tried if you it. Shit yourself mid rep. Well, now that I'm, you know, you know, doing uh, four eighty five for sets of thirty. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? What was your most deadlift? Max deadlift? Five twenty five. Five. You in the five hundo club? Yeah, dude. Were you two seventeen back then? What were you I weighing? Was like two ten. Two ten. Uh, a sharp two ten. My most, I think, was four oh five. That's four plates, right? I remember when I was 16. Yeah. I was 16. That was when <laughs> yeah. I did it. Yeah. I'm not even joking. I, I stopped deadlifting after age 16 because my lower back it it's snapped not, in half. It's not worth it. I don't really give a fuck what, what anyone your, says. What was your most squat? 425. All right, 425. Strong. Most bench? 300. You got to get that back, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I got to get time. my weight up. You got to get your weight up. Listen, you're not even 25 yet. At 25, I'm when not you're, even when you're, 24 yet. When you're my age, fuck 24. It's a relevant year. When you're 25, when you're my age, you can relax. Yeah, yeah. For now, but I gotta, I gotta get my weight up. You gotta get your weight up. You're, you're looking, you're looking like a fucking uh, bowl of bubble gum. Over here. <laughs> it's time to fucking step up your game, Phil. I do love this sweater though. I know. Stone Island. I know. What is that? Should I know what that is? Stone yeah. Island. Really? No. <laughs> I mean, it's, say, it's, just, it's a nice brand. They make high quality garments. High quality. Garments. I think they're English based. Oh, all they in it. Let's see. It's Tuesday, Stone Island, isn't it? Yeah. I'm so annoying. <laughs> oh, they're Italian. Oh, yeah, no shit. I've been to Stone Get Island. Get the fuck out of here. We're at Coney Island, Joe Byron. Fuck your life, Big Bro, Bong. The fucking founder's name is Massimo Osti from Raverino, Italy. Oh, that guy's eating raviolis no as we speak. No shit, I'm wearing Italian As we garments. fucking speak, he is downing raviolis. That's a fact. No, they make really, really, really nice shit. Yeah, no, the website looks clean. Where'd you find them? Where'd I find them? All these hidden gems you rock to the podcast. Man, if set. you want drip, you hit me up, okay? Yo, I'm I'm just trying to enhance my drippy. Well, let me know. Let's go to the mall. They don't have this at the mall. Oh, you got to go like into the archives yeah. of the dark web. What do you think? I go to mass consumer fucking <laughs> stores and wear whatever everyone else mass is wearing? Mass consumer stores? Well, think about it. If you go to the stores that other people go to, what are you going to look like? Everybody other else. <laughs> Every other Joe Schmo <laughs> with a credit card. Yeah, I'm saying, Phil. Yeah. Did you hear that uh hear Kanye West's uh he believes that God will bring him and Kim back together? Yeah. I, I just I'm not even gonna say my thoughts on this. I strictly brought this up just to hear what you think. Uh well, you know, Vin, I don't believe in God, so I think Kanye's full of shit. And I think oh I think God. Pete Davidson is <laughs> busting open those cheeks, dummy busted Braxton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Phil, this is a family show. What are you doing? No, it's not. Grandmother's watch. What do you mean? No, it's not. Grandmother's watch this Your shit. Your favorite grandmother watches. It. I got to tell you, though, I'm team yay all the way. Get I, the I, fuck Bro, they got a here. family. I hope they end up back together. I hope they end up happy. No. I think this Pete Davidson thing is a fucking fling. Do you think I, it, I don't know okay. if it's going to burn bright for a while. There's some disrespectful conspiracy theories out there that they're doing it to cover up. The Astro World tragedy. I think you brought this up on the previous episode. I'm pretty sure you did. You know, I bring up a lot of things. I don't. Bring up something right now. What's on your mind? Bring up anything. Anything that you're thinking. Logan Paul and Jake Paul's new crypto scam. There's another one? Yeah, there's another one. Get the fuck out of here. What's this one? Swear to God. Dink Doink 2.0? Yeah, it's called Stick Dicks. Stop. I swear to God. 
No, like you think I'm joking, but oh like, my god, wait! It's actually Dink Doink 2.0. <laughs> Are you part of Jake Paul? Did you see the press conference? No, Phil. No, Phil, you don't even understand. Am I pulling this up? Or are we gonna get copyrighted for the WWE? I, I don't know. I think we're fine to pull this up, but let me just say this right now: Tyson Fury's father, Tommy Fury's dad, bro, John Fury. Wait, bro. the Golem, the Rolling Golem. Bro, first of all, the one that was punching him in our member episode, dude. He said shit. That is like, you don't, okay, let me just tell you what he said. Okay. This man said, I can't do their accent What's his very name? well. John Fury. John Fury. Which is just a little background on John Fury. I, I don't know if this is 100% true, uh, true, but I saw one of my uh, favorite YouTubers. That's Tyson Fury's dad yeah. or brother? Yeah, it's his dad. I heard one of my favorite YouTubers that talks about like the YouTube fight game say like, John Fury went to prison for gouging a man's eye out. So just for context, he's about that life. This dude's crazy. Yeah. He said- he said, I'm, I might be paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly how he said it, but he goes, when Tommy, <laughs> he goes, when Tommy knocks your spark out, he's going to take your girlfriend, bend her over and fuck her like a dog. <laughs> and, then, and then at the end of the press conference, he goes, and you know what? After Tommy knocks your spark out, I'm going to make your girlfriend suck my dick. <laughs> and I was like, I, bro, I literally was fucking, my, my jaw was on the floor that he said that, bro. Okay. He's John Fury, fucking, Jake Paul, girlfriend. Okay, yeah, Paul. Dude, you're, you you literally you think I'm joking? Like, just literally wait till he says it. It's fucking insane, bro. Okay. All right, you got it pulled up. Yep. All right. What did you say? Listen, you know now you're swearing now. Jake Paul's you're in a pool. Yeah. Out, don't you? He's gonna bend your girlfriend over and do her like a dog. In front of you. Like, so I'm telling Tommy's you, like, oh, come you're, on. You're, you're That's where we're coming from. You are, you you are, are a dummy. Man you're a dummy. Be on stage. Stage. I don't care if you like it. You're an old cringe don't man. Like you should not be on stage. <laughs> You know what Tyson's his trainer for this you fight? Listen yeah. You listen with John Fury now. You listen with John Fury now. No one gets people talking about John Fury. Come on, he shouldn't say that. That's fucked up. Who? John Fury? John, bro. This guy's out of pocket. Can you imagine if Greg Paul said that? Like, the internet would absolutely crucify him. I, I don't have to imagine it because he kissed let this Jake keep, Paul's let fucking- this, Let this keep playing. We ain't done here. You want done me here. to keep playing? Yeah, we ain't done here. Let's let it rock. You you're suddenly. living vicariously you're through your sons. You're living Sorry. vicariously through your sons. You never accomplish anything. I see a bunch of- What is I this frame rate on Jake Paul? On That's what I see. You're the biggest idiot of all for accepting this fight, you mug. <laughs> Take mug. the glasses off, so you see the fear in your eyes. eyes. Take the glasses off, so you see the fear in your eyes. The Tyson's like, like, get me off the stage. It's funny because from my angle, I'm going to try to throw his right here. John, that is, is it really <laughs> I thought I was ugly, needed a bolt through my neck to look like Frankenstein, but he beats me temple. Look at that jawline, my Look at that jawline. Put a bolt through me and call me Frankenstein, but he beats me temple. I'm putting you over me and spunk you like a five year old kid. Tony, come and come to you. Come and see you. hit hard by anybody. Get off, you can't throw straight into your mug. I watched you last fight, mate. You're rubbish. Rubbish for the rubbish. company. You're rubbish. <laughs> Get out there. I don't know who's blowing smoke up your ringer, mate, but the, it's only for a paycheck. You are rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. You're rubbish. Your son, your son has fought. I don't know who's blowing <laughs> smoke up your <laughs> ringer. Nobody's you. Only nobody's fighting you. Look at Tyson. He's just like, please get me off the stage. Look at the facts of that. Sound like when, a dumbass. When it is not true. Been a fan of me since 2017. This dude is so He's handsome. It's unbelievable. Why is he so it's handsome? It's unbelievable. Rig fights. Let me tell you, mate. There's no rig fight. You're copping it, mate. You'll know it and all. And I can see. Dude, the dad talked more shit than Tommy. Take them glasses off. That's crazy because you can't even see my eyes. He's so fixated on the glasses. See my eyes, old man. Get the glasses off, you idiot. You idiot! My dick. Suck my dick. <laughs> you, you ain't got a fucking dick to suck. You have a funny dick. You ain't got a fucking dick to suck. Tommy, you've got a gash, not a dick. Tommy, you've got a gash. Tommy, you're fine. Holy shit! <laughs> First we had Ben Shark do 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 the fucking frisbee golf extraordinaire. Then we had we had Tyrone Woodley, who actually had some witty comebacks, and now we have an actual Psycho felon psychopath <laughs> who's like not even involved in this. He's just like yeah, he's just 
dad. Bro. He's the grandpa. He's oh. quite literally his grandpa, right? No. No, no, they're brothers. It's his dad. Yeah. It's straight up his dad. I forget. There's a big age gap. You don't gap. have a dick to suck, mate. You're rubbish. You have a gash. Oh, my God, dude. Um, <laughs> bro, I'll tell you what, though. This got me even more hype for the fight. I just find that it so funny how he's funny. in like a fucking suit and tie and Jake Paul's in his pool yeah. <laughs> with his sombrero <laughs> on. <laughs> he's wearing a hat with pineapples on. Dude, if he wins. He's going to win. Oh. I'm telling you, bro, we've talked about this in every fucking episode. He's unbeatable. Oh. He's quite literally unbeatable. I will just laugh so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. If Tommy man. really does fumble this, we're in trouble, dude. Dude, I've said it since Ben Shark. I'm hopping on test and Halo t and Halo statin, and yeah. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna hit the bag. You should until I just train to become a warrior. I think I think you could fight him. Oh, I yeah? think you could fight him and win. You got okay. the you got the length. Thank you. You got you got the the arms. Who's for got it. the girth? He might have the girth. Really? He's a built dude. He's a fucking pipsqueak. He didn't have a dick to suck. He's got a fucking. He ain't got no dick to suck. He's fucking rubbish. I'm sorry, but John Fury, you are hilarious. Oh, absolute my savage, Lord! And then Tyson Fury, like Jake was like, Jake goes, you know, it's so funny that you're talking shit because literally six months ago you were saying how I'm a breath of fresh air and doing good things for the sport of boxing. And he goes, well, now I think you're a wanker, mate. You know what I want to see? <laughs> I want to see Greg Paul versus John Fury. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that. Why? Who's winning? John Fury, bro. Thank you. John Fury, the absolute golem. <laughs> bro, he's a fucking blast. How tall is he? I don't know. Well, he, they're all gigantic, I'm pretty John sure. John Fury height. Is, wait, is, was John Fury a fighter? Had to have been. 6'3". How tall is Greg Paul? Yeah, he's a former professional boxer. Okay, well, there you go. Greg Paul, he's probably a solid 6'2". You Let's know, see. Midwestern farm-fed strong boy. Farm-fed strong boy. Greg Paul height. Let's see. I'm gonna say six one. Is his he's height even one. gonna be yeah, online? Six one. six one. Look at that, bro. And I got he's fifty eight. How old's Johnny? Fifty seven. Oh shit! John's got the youth. Yep. John's got the youth, bro. <laughs> GP checking in. Does <laughs> GP coming at you? <laughs> GP coming at you. <laughs> Can you imagine the two of them shit talking each other? I would buy that pay per view tonight. I would buy that immediately. Oh, what the fuck is? Yo, this? GP coming at you. Is a compilation? <laughs> <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> Sounds like a banjo kazooie level. <laughs> He's kissing. Oh my god. Holy shit. What was that beat? That beat was fat, dude. <laughs> that was, was a chunky, stinky beat. Oh my that, God. that was a stinky beat one. right Happy there. Day. Holy fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. How's TMG doing? I don't know. You haven't, ke you haven't kept up? <laughs> no, I watch their highlights a lot. I haven't watched like a podcast in a really long time. Dude, I, I don't have time. <laughs> I know, dude. We're just securing all this bread. Holy shit. <clears throat> That's fucking funny. So yeah, we got that fight coming up. I, wait till I make my fighting debut. I'm telling you right now. You know who else is fighting? You ever see that couple on TikTok? Vincent, I think Samantha is her name. Nope. And like they'll get into like they're fighting each other. They're getting like no, they're not fighting each other. <laughs> Vincent's fighting someone. I wait, wait, wait. Who? You you don't know who they are if, if you if I if I brought that up and you haven't uh, jogged your memory. What what's the girlfriend's name? I think Samantha. I'm pretty sure. I could be completely wrong. TikTok. Yeah. They're like. Uh, yeah. Like, she'll say, she'll, like, prank him, and he'll be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's, like, extremely Italian. Who's he fighting? I don't know. Some other guy. But he was... Samantha Vin Vincent. Is this... No. No, this is some <laughs> random person. Maybe it's got 2.2 her... 2 billion views. Maybe her name's not Samantha? No, I think it is. TikTok star Sam and Vincent. Uh, his name is Vincent This Giganti. guy? This guy. Yes, that's them. Who's he fighting? I don't know. He's fighting someone on Christmas Day, though. I saw that pop up on my For You page. His name's Vince Giganti? Vincent Giganti. That's an, that's an Italian I mobster. feel like I know, yeah, I know like 10 Gigantes. <laughs> this guy probably lives up the street. Yeah. Yeah, they got, they got some funny content. Bro, every video they upload has over a million views. It's fucking crazy. 9.8 million, 3.1 million, 3.8 million. Sheesh. That's crazy. Vincent 
Giganti or Giganti is a professional light heavyweight boxer. Also. Oh, so he actually boxes? Yeah, his name was The Chin. No, this was in 1944 and 1947. Oh, okay. Well, not the same guy, I don't think. He's got his blood. That's his great that's grandfather. A, that's a great fucking name. The Chin. Vinny The Chin. Hey, dude, if you're Get messing the with fuck, Vinny The yo, Chin. If you're about to square up with anybody in any scenario and they go, yeah, my name's Vinny The Chin. You fucking turn around. You fucking run. Yep. You run, my guy. Holy shit. Here we got an article by wildchatsports.com. How Good Vincent sight. Giganti and Sam Kelly could influence the sport of boxing. What's he fighting? You're going to read the fucking... Last week, I had the pleasure of interviewing arguably the most popular couple on TikTok. No? They might be. Get the fuck out of here. They both have over like 2 million followers. They're not the most popular couple on TikTok. (laughs) Who is the most popular? Do you know? I don't... You're just on like meat talk. You don't know shit about this. I don't go to TikTok anymore. I love TikTok. That's so last month, dude. Bro, you literally were off the the TikTok bandwagon. Then you were back on it. Also, you know what else is weird? Now I'm off. What happened to all of like the privacy concerns with TikTok? Like people just don't give a fuck anymore? Or is it because they got bought out by that big ass company? No, there's still privacy concerns. I haven't heard a single thing. You don't remember like last year around this time, like literally people were like freaking the fuck out saying data was being collected, all that. That just stopped. Like that narrative is just gone. I mean, it still exists, but people just don't care anymore because the memes... Are, are overpowered. Yeah. And the heavies that you see on there. The heavies? Yeah, like the, the sweater the mommy puppies. milkers? Yeah. Mm. I feel you, bro. What are you doing after this podcast? Are you hanging out with your boy? Yeah, you know, we're going to get some food. What kind of food are we talking about? I don't know. He's always down to try new restaurants, so, you know. A little bro night out, huh? That's it. That's good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to hit some legs today. I'm talking like a ferocious leg day. Like my le- I won't even be able to walk when I'm done. Yeah. Then I'm going to do a stream. Crack my... Ooh. Ooh. Crack my neck a little bit. I had my neck chiropractically adjusted the other day. Like professionally? Yeah. Or by some random Joe Schmo? No, professionally. How was that? I felt light on my feet. Yeah, like you could levitate? A little bit. I was just walking around an inch off the floor. They say once you do that a couple times, like people crave crave it. They want to go back and back and back and back. It's addicting. So are you going to go? Fuck yeah. What did it feel like? Did it hurt at all? No, it doesn't hurt. It's just like a relief. It's like... Some of these videos I watch on like TikTok and YouTube of chiropractic adjustments, like all the comments will be like, at 332, that guy definitely died for at least 10 seconds. It's like... <laughs> oh. You ever see the the horny chiropractors that put the girl's butt cheeks in the on front the thumbnails? center? Yeah. That's how you get the views, bro. That's how you get the views. Listen, the internet is a game and we're all just playing the game. It's, That's why I put my ass in all my thumbnails. I know. It's such an easy formula. You gotta just click on that fucking dump truck. I have a dump truck, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed. Do you? Yeah. It's from all the squats, dude. It's all about those glute raises. I feel like my leg day split needs a little bit more excitement. Let me let me run it by you, right? We got squats. I've been squatting on the Smith machine because my lower back just can't take regular squats anymore unless okay. it's a front squat, which is weird, but I guess the weight on the back... That angle. The angle of the dangle. Bang, the posterior dangle chain overload. So I do some squats on the Smith machine. I do a dumbbell front squat, which I love, like a goblet squat, I think they're called. I like those. Those are great. I do uh, lunges. I do a leg press. I do uh, RDLs, uh, leg extensions, and then some calves. Seven things. It's a lot of things. It's pretty solid, right? Why not throw in some Bulgarian split squats? Those are, like, great for <clears throat> growth, but, like... I feel like n- nobody likes doing them. You can do pistol squats. What's a pistol squat? I mean, first you would start it like calisthenically, right? It's like the single leg squats. Oh, dude, I can't do a fucking, I can't do that. Why? It's good for mobility. I have no balance. I feel like that would be my problem. You got to build it. You can do a pistol squat? I used to be able to. Holy shit. Dude, you're a freak of nature. Yeah, they're not that hard. You can learn it in a couple of days. I'm going to try. Because I want to be, I feel like that's a cool party trick. Everyone's drunk, you're just starting Yeah, but then you could do them weighted. <laughs> you just hold dumbbells and that's start doing That's fucking savage. Or you go, get on me back, mate. And then you just start pistol squatting. You ain't got a cock, you got a gash. Still cannot even believe that clip. It's just so ridiculous. <clears throat> Guess who's going on this thumbnail? Johnny Fury. <laughs> Jake Paul. Um, yeah, no. I'm just in such a Christmas mode right now. And I know we're still in November, technically, but... We will be in December in a couple of days, and I am just ready to have fun and get drunk and have a lot of eggnog and hang out with family and friends and shop, and I just want, like, a chill December. Mm. I feel like last December, my, my life was filled with anxiety and stress. This November can suck my balls. Yeah, it was a rough November. Your wife is in me DMs. It's 
rough November. I don't know why you went Conor McGregor on that one. Because your wife's in my DMs, bro. Oh, yeah? My yeah. wife that doesn't exist yeah. in your DMs? That's why it's rough. Yeah, that's, yeah it's rough in these yeah. streets. But yeah, what, do you have any uh, goals or aspirations or anything that you want to do in December? I know, obviously, when 2022 hits, we're going to have that episode we talk about, you know, what are, like, two things we want to accomplish next year? <sighs> Unless you already know them now. If you know now, I mean, fucking let me know. I don't really have any goals. Nothing? You're just like, that's it. just keep making money and sleeping. That's it. Finish your house. That's a goal. That is a goal. That's a goal. How's that coming along, by the way? You got the gutters in the member episode. You were telling me the gutters yep. are fucked up. The gutters, gutters are, good are now. The gutters are clean. We gutters got are some clean. Beautiful. See, it was a rental property, right? Which means, well, I guess it doesn't really mean anything correlated to this point, but there's no fucking lights in this house. Still? No, now there is. Okay. Now there are, because we put them in. Electricity, baby. Well, there was electricity, but back in the old days, they would make like two-way switches. Mm. and outlets where you just plug in a lamp and then the 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 fucking wall thing would control the lamp not there's no hi hats you know what i mean i have a couple of switches like that in this house actually like in my office when you flip the switch my lights turn on that are plugged into an outlet it's pretty yeah. sweet it's not it's nice though but not every switch you know if you have like a convenient setup where like you could put a lamp or something that's cool like next to the bed right that's nice but yeah no if they're all they're all they were all like that there's no hi hats in the house. Holy shit! That's so it was all lamp based. Yeah, that's no that's, light. That's pretty fucking epic. So now the entire house lights up like a Christmas tree. Nice. The demolition is complete. We're doing a little mold treatment this week. The roofing guys there. Then we're gonna go in for some sheetrock, some primer. Then we're yeah. gonna come in with the fucking renovations, the tiles, and then we're done. You ever notice the roofing guys always chewing way too much gum? I didn't meet them. Next time, trust me. Way too much. They'll just gum. be standing there, pencil in his ear, going. Your roof's fucked. <laughs> yeah, a couple, uh, couple nicks, couple knacks. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna run you about thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight grand. <laughs> you got any fucking gum? Any Dude. more gum, sir? You quite literally have eight pounds of gum. Well, yeah, that's what our roofers do. Literally, chew gum. We take names. You know why? Because they just spit the gum out and then patch the roof with their gum. Oh shit! <laughs> Poof. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude. I feel like it's easy to be a roofer because no one wants to get up there and see it. So then you could just be like, yeah, your roof's fucked, and just. <laughs> I, I remember the first Give thing people a new the roof. first thing that I wanted to do at my house was get a new roof because my roof used to be like a beige color. And I yeah. was like, yo, I want to get a black roof. Yeah, it looks nice. It, it, it really brings out, like, because I added all the black accents to my house. Like, we have the black door, black side yeah. door, black roof. It's clean. It's fucking, it's mint. I hate the color of my house right now. What color is it? It's like this. I got to come see Burnt it. orange. Ooh, okay. But it's just, it's like not it. Yeah. My house has like the stones in the so front you know and the brick on the side. The spring comes along. We do a little re-siding action. Nice, nice midnight navy, dark Ooh, blue, like the gray. house next to my house, the one that just got darker, built. more gray, darker, yeah. nice, strong. You know what color you're gonna do in your kitchen? It's white. Strong black accents. Nice, I love that. It's Dude, so fun picking shit out. My man. whole house could be matte black at wood. That's exactly what I want to do in my kitchen. I got all the mac matte black appliances. It's just nice. Oh no. I was going to get the matte black appliances, but it wouldn't get shipped for COVID for like a fucking year. I know. Which in hindsight, I could have did because I'm still not in that bitch. You know what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? You could have your basement. Basement will have matte black shit. There you go. But yeah, no, it's fun when you do the, the kitchen because you can do like the wine cooler, the microwave, the stove. Are you getting all new shit or is this shit there? Already? Brand new. Woo, Samsung? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's good shit. Yeah. S smart fridge? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch YouTube videos on my fucking fridge. Pull yourself up every day. Yeah. You just eat your cereal in front Get of your fucking fridge. Views. <laughs> yeah, give yourself views on your smart TV. No. Wouldn't that be fun? You know the breakdown of like when we go on uh, the, the pod, analytics. The analytics and we can see like people are watching or listening on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever. Yep. Imagine people listening to the podcast on their smart TV. Or no, I'm sorry, smart refrigerator. It's a power move. There's got to be at least one person. At least one. That's just fucking sitting there eating eggs. Probably, probably cooking while they're doing it. What's your favorite breakfast food, champ? Are we talking like prepared food? or I'm talking like, like you wake up, it's 9 a.m., birds are chirping, your orange house is glistening in the sunlight, and you're about to make some breakfast. I have to make it or it's made? 100% you got to make it. This ain't no Uber Eats. All right, I'm talking bacon. Okay. I'm talking orange juice and coffee. Pulp or no pulp? We'll go all natural pulp. Yeah, I love pulp. Dude, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's fucking get it. Let's get it. Let's fucking get it. Berries, right? I'm talking berries, I'm talking blueberries, strawberries, right? blueberries, raspberry, Can't blackberry combo. Holy shit, you're making a whole fruit salad. Come in with yummy, a Belgian yummy. waffle, Ooh, slightly crispy. Strong. Then we finish with a Western omelet. I'm talking onions, peppers. Jesus fucking Christ. Was it bulking ham. season? Ham. Ham. Cooked ham in the uh, in the pot? Yeah. 
Yeah. Got to do it. My mom makes the best fucking ham. And then throw in spinach too because you got to get your nutrients. That is a well-balanced breakfast. You hit the whole food pyramid. I know. Unbelievable. See me, I would just be like, <laughs> Fruit Loops, baby. And then I finish with some breast milk. Fresh breast milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're still breastfeeding. <laughs> yes. At age 25. I'm lactating. Listen, I'm not someone that judges. I think that's great. Thank you. You know, that bond that you and your uh, mother have is just amazing. I'm no, really... it's not my mother. It's me. Well. I go right from the source. You just suck your own titties? Yeah. That's great. We don't produce milk, Phil. Do we produce milk? No. <laughs> we do not. I think you can as a guy. Can you? Yeah. Interesting. Can guys produce milk? I saw a uh, Instagram post of cows that get bathed and then like blow dried and they were super fluffy cows. Oh, male hear- lactation. Let's hear it, Phil. Production of milk from a male mammal's mammary glands. It's well documented in the fruit bat and the flying fox. All right. The flying fox. It has not been used in human medicine. Okay. But it is popular in literature. I feel like I just got dumber. <laughs> what the hell is a flying fox? Is that a fucking fox that could? What the fuck? Phil. Phil, this is not real. Yeah, it is. Bro, it's a giant fox bat. Yep. Phil, this is not a real animal. Yeah, dude, they produce milk from their titties. Brooks, you got to put this on the fucking screen. Look at that fucking thing. No, this shit's majestic as a motherfucker. Holy shit. It just looks like a bat on test. This is, if Joey was a bat, (laughs) this would be Joey. I know. Yo, bats are terrifying. They carry a shit ton of diseases. Do you think bats are scary just because we associate them with vampires? Like, do you think our own lore made bats freaky or do you think just the look of bats is just freaky in general i don't think they're freaky i think the diseases they carry is freaky because if they bite you with rabies you literally have like 24 hours to get the antidote otherwise you're dying the antidote i'm dead serious where where do you even go to get like a rabies antidote they just have it at the fucking emergency room they just have it ready to go yeah that's fucking crazy dude if you get rabies you have like a 99 percent chance of survival if you get treated if you don't get treated within the window you die. In your anabolic window, you slowly, horribly die That's within a couple crazy. days. But now, is there one specific form of rabies or like is rabies a general umbrella term for like a bunch of different shit? You no, know what I'm saying? It's, it's Like rabies from a raccoon is the same as rabies from a squirrel? Same shit. Because that was the big thing growing up, right? Like people would say, don't go near squirrels because if it has rabies. And, and they usually are like out. It's like when creatures of the night come out during the day, they have rabies, right? Like, if well, you see a possum midday, possums three in the actually are very, very clean animals in terms of disease. Look at this fucking guy, yeah, mammal expert Phil. They eat ticks and they are just naturally like resistant to a lot of diseases. How do you know this? TikTok. <laughs> see that? I'm telling you, TikTok. Here, you want to watch it? I'll show you. Yeah, pull it up. I want to learn about fucking bats and shit. No, we'll, we'll start with the possums, right? All right. I love how you go to YouTube to find a fucking possum TikTok. L- look at this shit. Is this the guy that you watch? Yeah. All right, let's see it. All right, take a look at this here. I was just hiking on the trail and I came across this guy. Look at that this thing. This is an opossum. It's huge. I saw him walking on the trail and I walked up to it and it got so scared and fainted. It passed out and it played possum. This is an involuntary response by these animals. They don't choose to play possum. They just get so scared that they kind of pass out. That's me, dude. He's starting to wake up a little bit. You can see his teeth. They got over 50 teeth. It'll do some damage, but they really won't bite you. I'm not in danger of getting bit, or I'm not really in danger of getting rabies. I know these animals might look dirty or kind of like a rat, but they are actually super clean animals. They groom themselves all day long. They actually eat ticks that go on top of them. So anytime they walk through some brush and they get a tick, they will eat it. They are known to eat up to 5,000 ticks a year. He is just chilling. He's not attacking. They're not aggressive, I Um, guess, huh? They also almost never have rabies. Could they get rabies? Sure. So could humans. They're but immune to snake venom. Their body temperature wow. is so low internally, it's tough for the rabies virus to survive. So they do not commonly carry it. So it's about body temperature. Another cool thing about well, them is if you have a really low body temperature, thumbs. it's hard for the virus to survive. They also have this super Bats long tail. Bats on the other hand. Oh, look at their tail. Trees and help climb. These guys will pretty much eat anything. They will eat anything His from foot is just like fish, <laughs> bugs, insects, <laughs> snakes. up in the air vegetables, dog food, cat food you leave outside, you'll see them in your garbage. A lot of times people will think they're a big rat, but they're actually not. They're more closely related to a kangaroo than a rat. rat. They do have the pouch on their belly, which makes them a marsupial. They are the only marsupial here we have in North America. Bro, this guy's infinite knowledge of this thing. I know. 
He's the possum expert. These guys are awesome. They use those whiskers to help dig and look for stuff. He's kind of cute. Calm this guy is. He's I think we talked about. Here, let me pause He's this. He's not going anywhere. Did we talk about the guy that goes scuba diving in the Florida Everglades with the alligators? Yes. Did I show you the videos of that? I think you were gonna, and then you were like, yeah, I can't play this or something like that. Why not? I don't know. Was it like a, a crazy like alligator attack or something? No. Oh, no, we did play the video. We did? Yeah, yeah I remember this, actually. That is some next level just Darwinism. It, it's amazing that there's so many humans that are like so comfortable around animals like that. Because like, I, dude, even like some people's dogs, I don't even want to pet them because I'm like, this thing fucking bites me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, that I saw a really sad fucking video on TikTok of like a pit bull that locked on to like a, a golden retriever. It was fucking brutal, dude. Like they couldn't get the pit bull off. I think eventually they did, thank God. It was hard to watch though. Why is it on TikTok? <laughs> Bro, there's, fu there's fucking everything on TikTok. I guess so. But that's that's what's crazy. Like those dogs that have lockjaw, if they lock on to like a human, a dog, whatever, like, bro, they will not let go. Mm -hmm. It's fucking terrifying. It's, that that shit, that shit is so scary. Like dog dogs attacking other dogs. That's why dog parks are kind of scary too. It's like... Dog parks are scary because of the people that bring their dogs there. 98% of the time, they're whacked in the head. And then you got the guy that won't put his dog on a leash. Trust me, he's good. Fucking dogs like a Brings a everybody. wolf to the park. Yeah, fuck that. Even though we could beat up wolves. Yeah, I, I would take one. We were talking about making breakfast, and I, I, I have to confess to you about a serious problem I have, Phil. Sure. I, have, I have a substantial Uber Eats addiction. No, dude, like when I tell you I order Uber Eats daily, sometimes twice a day, it's got to stop. I got to start buying my own food, meal preps. Did you order from the meal prep place, by the way? You texted me earlier. No, that was, that was for Wildy, not me. Did you do it? No. It's really good. She just wanted to know, though. I was literally about to order it, and I was like, you know what? Let me start next week. But basically, I, I think I've told you guys about this a million times, but there's a meal prep company that I use that they essentially just make all the food. They send it to you, and then you have all these little containers. It's super convenient, too. It ends up being like, I think, $8 a meal or some shit like that, depending on which deal I you mean, get. it's good but, if you're trying to lose weight or prepping for oh, something. Oh, yeah, no. It's, I mean, if you want to know exactly what you're eating, and it's all fucking high in protein and has yeah, the fat, carbs, have like, protein laid out, it's beautiful. I remember you were eating... Uh, everything red bro. velvet pancakes that was a different one. Oh, but yeah no that was good i had the pancakes they would make fucking uh bow tie pasta lasagna fuck the, the the most recent one i did was the best they had like um like i'm trying to remember the, the best ones they had they had penne vodka penne uh, vodka bolognese with spaghetti dude it, it was slapping and it's made with love and care which is fantastic you got the hiccups phil a little bit What's that thing that they say to get rid of the hiccups? You got to hop on one foot and like tap the side of your head or some shit? No, you have to jerk off. Oh, well, that's why I never have the hiccups then. I stay jerking off 12 times <laughs> no, a day. You got to get scared. You got to get scared. Is that is that a thing? Yeah, you got to scare them out of you. Unless you're a possum, then you get scared and you fucking But that's, that's also like a bad medical condition. If you have like the hiccups forever, it's like a spasm of your diaphragm. You have to go to the ER to get a treatment for it. Because you won't go to sleep. Because imagine just hiccuping forever. Where'd you learn that, Phil? TikTok? No, my grandpa had it. Did he really? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah, I mean, he's fine. Oh, Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> I scared him. <laughs> scared it right <laughs> out of him. Shit. He scared the hiccups right out of him. Yep. <laughs> Can you imagine that, like, just hiding in, like, a cupboard waiting for your grandpa to walk by so you could scare him to help his hiccups? Yeah. That's crazy. <gasps> I went to uh, the nest on Thanksgiving Eve. How was that? I'm going to be honest with you. It was kind of whack. Was there a lot of people there? Not as much as when we went. When, when we, we went, went, it was, was a zoo. line out the door. This, we walked right in. Fucking, I was there for like two hours, maybe. There came a point. Oh, by the way, guess what my bar tab was on Thanksgiving Eve? High or low? I'm not going to tell you. You just got to guess. $48. $26, Phil. Wow. I, I was on a, a Vinny mode where I had a, a, a couple of drinks at the pregame. And then when I got out, I ordered one round of shots. So nice. I took a took a one shot when I was at the bar, bro. My vibes were immaculate, and I knew exactly when I was ready to go home. It was around like two thirty, I want to say, and I go, you know what? I want my fucking bed right now. And what did I do? I you went, got that bed. I went to sleep. Helix. I actually got home. I do sleep on the helix. I got home and I ordered two paninis. A uh, banini? A fucking banini? I got a fucking fried eggplant panini, which was delicious with some marinara sauce eggplant panini really good and then i got a i think it was like grilled chicken fresh mozzarella roasted red peppers that like standard that classic that's like when you think panini you think of that standard shit on ciabatta ciabatta bread pressed 
with those so skid marks. We on mentioned it. this earlier, but it's the second dink doink. Oh stick yeah, this dicks. is the new stick. This thing. is Jake Paul's latest cryptocurrency grift, right? Okay. It's an NFT thing called Stick Dicks. Mm-hmm. And it's a stick figure with uh, different penises. Okay. They're just sticks, you know what I mean? Okay. And um, he made over seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars off of it, and he claimed that like you know, he wasn't part of it. Meanwhile, you go back on the blockchain, you find out that he created it. Mm. I mean, that's the same formula everyone's been doing, right? They just say, "Oh, I found this new thing. It's great. It's theirs." Yeah, they but that, that that's illegal. No, everyone's doing it. They're gonna get busted. I just don't even understand how like if you're that. If you're that big, you clearly have a team that would like know not to do this stuff. Is there like a loophole where they know they are going to get away with it? Because why would all these top tier people be doing it? You get what I'm saying? Because they don't give a fuck. Like if you are able to figure this out, clearly higher ups in authority will be able to figure this out. And like they will. They're just not there yet. Okay. So when the SEC comes crashing down. Open up. Yeah. (laughs) Going. We're outside. Crypto zoo. Jesus Christ, dude, they're fucked. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like everyone is fucked. I'm, I'm very curious to see how this all plays out because you're pretty adamant that this is all gonna hit the fan. It's going to. What do you have? Like a general timeline? You know? Would you say, dude? It could be, it could be six months from and now. And it's just straight up illegal. Yes. Like there's no. Yeah, my whole video on Gary V doing this shit. It's called painting the tape. It's a form of market manipulation where if you do that with stocks and securities, like on the stock exchange, you're fucked. Well, Wolf Wolf of Wall Street was talking about this. We talked about this on a previous episode. Yeah. And he did it. (laughs) So he fucking knows. He did it. So he fucking knows. Dude, there's a clip of. Stop flexing your muscles, Jordan. Yeah, there's a clip. I love that clip. Of Mr. Beast on Logan Paul's podcast talking about how. I saw that one. How Gary V was just like, hey, he called us up and got us all into a call. He Didn't literally- Mike even say is the reason why you guys are making money because you all bought it- Yes. And then sold it or something? Yes. That's pretty self-aware. One, it's creating a monopoly. Two, it's called painting the tape. Three, it's pumping and dumping the fucking shit. Yeesh. Listen, I don't know shit about shit. I just put my money in that ETH, baby. I'm still in, dude. You're still you, in? You got out? You're hodling? Yeah, we, we talked about that. You know, I buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. That's really it. Yeah, I- uh. A bunch of my, again, not financial advice, of course. A bunch of friends were like, dude, I think Ethereum's going to hit 15K. So I got a bunch of Ethereum and now I'm just patiently waiting to make some money. There you go. That's what I'm trying to do. And maybe I'll lose money and I'll learn. It'll be a learning experience. Yeah. But I'm going to manifest because the Why law don't you of attraction. Put it stick dicks? No fucking chance. I will never invest in a fucking influencer crypto in my life. You already did. That was different. I entered that to get into a raffle. And they gave it to you? No. Wait, you didn't give it? They didn't give it to you? Well, yeah, no, I have it, but I'm saying the raffle, I didn't win. Oh, right, right, right. That's literally the only reason. I didn't buy that thinking, oh, yo, <laughs> I was going to make hella money. So you still have it? I'm pretty sure I still have it. What's They're not, they're literally like, they're they're done. <sighs> like, you know that that sound? You're done. You're done. <laughs> Here, wait. What did I pay for that? Do you remember? It was, what was it, two grand? Two grand. Logan Paul uh, NFT collector. <laughs> oh, I think that no. I think that was the name of it. Wait, hold on. Logan Paul, Pokemon, NFT. Let's see. Uh, open C. What the fuck was it called? Oh, no, it was called Logan Paul Box Breaker. That was it. Okay. Box Breaker? <laughs> yeah. All right. This is it right here. <laughs> oh, my God, Phil. What They're worth it? $412 now. <laughs> Phil. Oh, no. Honestly, I should sell that and make four hundred bucks you right need now. To, I, I need definitely to should sell that, dude. This is a travesty. You need to sell that, hundred percent, and put that into ETH. There's five hundred and twelve owners. Wait, there's only five hundred owners. Yeah, because everyone else fucking sold. Well, there was six ninety in total, so it's not like. Wait, there's only six ninety. Yeah, that's what it says. Wait, six ninety times two thousand. I guess you're still in the millions. Yeah, you made a lot of fucking money off these. I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Yeah, 690 times 2,000 is 1.38 million. Mm. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It's just insane to me that this was $2,000 for sale, and then what has it been? Why is that insane it's to you? It's been from February. What worth do you see in that? None. 
Yeah. I'm just shocked at the. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm shocked it's even worth 412 bucks. No, I, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell that and buy a pair of shoes. You should. Fuck it. Right. <laughs> Imagine right when I sell it, it fucking skyrockets. Logan Paul's NFT goes to the moon. <laughs> Let's see. I want to see in the last year. So yeah, it started off at. It started off at fucking. Wait, no. How do you see the price history? I want to. Yeah, I want to see like what it started as. I know I spent two thousand on it, but it's saying that the a- oh that's the average price, point three ETH. That was a year ago. Listen, who who fucking knows, huh? Who fucking knows, huh? Maybe I can sell for five hundred. Why don't you Why don't you DM and be like, yo, you got to take this off my hands, buy it back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell Logan to buy it back. That's what I'm gonna do. I would. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? You're fucking Jones, Jimmy Jones, Jimmy Jones. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> You sound like me. I just can't believe it. But yeah, no, you know, I, I don't I don't stress too much over that just because it literally was specifically to enter the raffle to get to the fucking no, I box opening again. But that's what sucked that I didn't I didn't get there. I didn't get back there for, right. for redemption. Not redemption, but round two. I just blew four hundred dollars on a Mr. Beast giveaway and it's for a video that's not up yet. But well, that's gonna be a great fucking video. It's all right. It's going to be iconic. Anything else you want to cover today, Philly? That's it, dude. Hey, listen, thank you guys for watching. We freaking love you guys. Next episode will be the first episode of December, and you already know the drip is going to be astounding. We love you guys. Share this video with a friend. Become a meatball today, and we'll see you guys next time. Phil. Say hello to your grandmother for me. Also, Sunday Sauce Podcast at gmail.com. Send your grandmothers because we need more submissions. We're going to start that back next episode a week from today. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.